Hello, hello, and welcome, my Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your seven card draw. What do I need shadow read for this full moon in Leo, your full moon, to uh, the new moon in Pisces, uh, February into March. 2022. My cats are starting to circle the dining room table. Uh, I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch, available on Kindle, link in the description box, and creator on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Drawing the Circle. Letting my artist flag fly there, because uh, I am the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. But you can call me Mal. Hi. Hey, my Leonides, my fifth housers. Uh, let's get up in this gig. Uh, if you're new to the channel, a seven card draw is just one card from seven different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological uh, timeline. In this case, a waning moon, letting go, forgiving, alchemy, surrender, right? Shadow work, hence a shadow read. Uh, and so let's look at that briefly. The full moon in Leo, although it goes void, of course, at the exact same moment it goes full. So get your waxing moon, full moon stuff done before Wednesday, February 16th, 11.56 a.m. I'm doing my stuff the night before, most likely. Uh, just gonna say, right, a Tuesday, but Leo Moon on Tuesday, fire, 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 really good vibe. Uh, and then it is the, the shadow part of it, right? The waning, the letting go to the new moon in Pisces, Wednesday, March 2nd, 7.52 p.m. So that should be a very interesting dark moon, an Aquarius dark moon into a Pisces dark moon before it hits new in Pisces. This could be uh, a very interesting uh, series of readings I'm doing in the timed series, not the timeless uh, series that I'm doing here on YouTube. So uh, it is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs. If, uh, let's say, five out of seven cards resonate, that's pretty good for a general read. So check your other signs to get more info. Uh, but we all have more than one thing going on. So uh, you check another sign, your sun sign's probably going to get a different situation than your moon sign, but you never know until you try it, right? So, both feet on the floor if you can. I had my legs crossed. I am a Virgo, but I'm Leo rising. Mars conjunct Leo rising. Uh, focus on your breath, if you will. And I will do the same to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can. From the divine, through my intuitive skills, through these pieces of cardboard, through YouTube and to you. And if you want me for a private reading, which is just you, me, and Zoom, or Facebook Messenger, or whatever, uh, there's a link in the description box booking your reading with Mel. Little video. Uh, we'll explain it all, because Clarissa... <laughs> Explains everything for you. Explains it all for you. So uh, let's uh, let's do this. This feels good. This feels fun. I'm actually doing this on a Cancer Moon on Saturday before the full moon. So let's see what hits the table. Please take a nice deep breath. Because it's 54 degrees here in New York <laughs> on Long Island in February. So let's just roll with it. Here we go. As I call upon the collective pantheons of angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters, general assembly, the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, these spirit animals and totems, as well as the pantheon of all pantheons, to please leave in my hand the Caroline Mace archetype card signifying the archetypal dynamics going on in the eighth chakra of the Leo collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign watching this video, receiving this reading, even if they're cross watchers watching this, they be helpful to know what is the soul power that they are alchemizing from lead to gold, lead to gold, shadow to light, pain to peace, toxic to healthy in the shadow uh, work here. And this will affect every other chakra underneath the eighth chakra over the head, it's gonna affect everything else underneath, what they attract, what they repel how they see things, how they feel about it, according to the archetypal story in play. So please leave that card in my hand for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, this, their full moon to new in Pisces. The athlete archetype, kick ass. I have the athlete uh, archetype in my uh, sacred contracts chart in the, uh, the fifth house, Leo. 
killer. All right, so um, this is a creative family archetype. Nine different families. Creative is one of them. So this is about your creativity. And you go, athlete, how are they creative? I'll tell you. On the card, the shadow attribute, which is what you're looking at healing, you can have an archetype, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. So even if you're not a literal athlete, I think you'll get this. Uh, misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends. We've certainly seen it. False sense of invulnerability and entitlement. Entitlement is one of the seven deadly sins. And interestingly enough, according to Caroline Mace, this is her architect deck, in her book, Anatomy of the Spirit, that's solar plexus. The deadly sin of the solar plexus is entitlement, and it takes the grace of understanding. Here understanding, not here, and here understanding uh, to heal it. So digest this, all right? Solar plexus and Leo, solar, solar plexus. Uh, the light attribute, trans, uh, dedication, good word, dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps. And certainly we see that in athletes, right? Uh, dancers, you know how, I mean, dan I was a professional dancer for a hot second in the, in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, it's, it's an athletic thing. I mean, you have to train, right? Look at the language of athletes. Uh, but certainly that's not just about, you know, track and field or whatever. Development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. I am an athletic artist. Artist is the dominant for me. This is the backup, right? This is the flavor uh, that my artists. There are times when I go into athlete mode when it comes to my creativity. When I wrote wor words of grace, like <laughs> I had to do yoga every day. I mean, I still do yoga pretty much every day and breath work and you know everything I could to keep myself going and keep myself in alignment. Um, yeah, so go go check it out, right? Go, there's a free preview on Kindle. So I love that we have this here. I'll, I'll climb that. Uh, let's have a look-see dooksy at the next four chakras down. The crown chakra, the third eye, the throat, the heart, the internal world, the yin dynamic, your feminine energy, all of that. We're using Daughters of the Moon Tarot. It's a feminist deck. Uh, so let's see what hits the table. Both feet on the floor. My legs automatically cross under the table once once the card hits the table nowadays. Here we go. It's probably a good reminder for me too to ground. Because the energy is high in this reading for sure Zs. As I call upon my goddesses of fire, the sign of Leo, powers of the south, please one card in clarity, leave it in my hand. What's going on in the internal world? Heart, throat, third eye, crown for the Leo Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Watching this video, receiving this reading, or maybe their cross-watcher can glean something from this. Uh, what's going on? Uh, mental, emotional, inside with that. Athlete on the inner. What's going on? Uh, sorry, in the eighth. Well, interesting. Next four chakras down is the Queen of Cups, the Mother of Cups. Uh, the Cancerian card. Moon is in Cancer right now, so this is uh, going to go out today. So if you're catching this the day of, Saturday the 12th of February, you might be feeling very much the empathic surge. You might very well, if you have any planets in Cancer, just see where they are, even if I guess they're outer planets. Um, because this would be the Queen of Cups. The Cancerian card, creative water, cardinal water, creative water, creative family archetype. So there is probably very strong intuition. When it's a court card on the inner, it, it may be represented by somebody on the outside, but it's about the inside. This is about your emotions. This is very heart chakra and the creativity, the divine power creativity of the heart. According to Carolyn Mace, the sacred truth of the heart chakra is love is divine power. Well, to channel that in an athletic, creative way, which, you know, sometimes cleaning the house is an athletic, it's an Olympic event, right? Getting it all done, right? But, you know, uh, I was raised by a Cancerian mother. Her home, our home, when, when I lived there, was always an expression of her art. And when she wasn't in a good mood, moody, 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 uh, you know, you could feel that too, right? So it's a real expression of the inner to the outer. Let's look at the outer. Mythic Tarot will do the lower three chakras, the masculine energy. From the outside looking in at you. From the inside looking out, you at something. Sometimes it's both. 
uh, but lower three chakras have to do with your relationships, groups, tribes, anything more than three people, your nationality. <laughs> Are you part of the bad reputation nation? I am. That's a tribe. <laughs> it's a Joan Jett thing. Right? You know, are, are you a witch? Are you, you know, how do you identify yourself that way? That's root chakra. Second chakra is one-on-one -on -one relationships, you and other people, but second chakra is also creativity and sexuality. Boom. Uh, and uh, your solar plexus, particularly with that entitlement there on the table, is your relationship to yourself, your personal power, your boundaries. Uh, what you will, what you won't, what you do, what you don't, your honor code, which makes all the difference in any archetypal schemata, but with the athlete, can do a lot of damage without paying attention to your solar plexus honor code. Let's see what hits the table. Uncross your legs, Mark. Breathe. <sighs> As I call upon my gods of fire, the sign of uh, Leo, powers of the South, please leave the card in my hand for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading, and or cross watchers. What's going on in the outside world? Their masculine energy, their yang, uh, the external world, lower three chakra dynamic, this athlete in the eighth, Queen of Cups, Mother of Cups on the inner. What's going on on the outer? The Empress. Now, this could certainly be you, regardless of bodily gender, right? It's not about bodily gender. This is all the queens of the tarot amalgamated into uh, one vibe. The Spirit Queen, right? Fire, Earth, Air, Water. The Empress is then the Spirit Queen. Uh, putting them all together. Demeter in this deck, which is very much about creativity and fertility. Abundance, but can also be the wife, the mother, you know, but here you've got the mother with creative water on the inner and this athlete, a creative family archetype. Whatever it is this shadow work is about, I think you've got everything you need. Let me rephrase that. I feel you have everything that you need here, or maybe you are dealing with someone. Right? Usually I try and keep people to court cards, but the Empress can certainly show up as a person in our lives. But with this going on, you're the water queen, and here's the spirit queen. This could very easily be you. Your creativity, your, for, your, your, um, your creative pregnancy, the empress is usually pregnant in any tarot deck, not all of them. Uh, so gestation, right? Then you can even take this internal creative gestation. And maybe you're literally pregnant, maybe you're not. But symbolically, the Empress really is, in a sense, the mother of all, but bringing it into physical form, right? Particularly when it's from the outside looking in. Okay, Major Arcana is also a place that you go through. This could be a phase of fertility uh, in your life, an Empress phase, a place, a stage you move through. Right. Oh, there's your chakras. Athlete, Queen of Cups, Empress. Let's get you a healing mantra to play with here. Uh, to help you with the shadow work. Wow, my Virgo is sh the Virgo is strong in this one. My legs, because Virgo crosses its legs. <laughs> oh, the Virgo is strong in this one. Breathe. It's like clearing the channel. As I call upon the Ascended Masters General Assembly, and I'm asking for the general because an athlete with this water and this Empress could be about anything. So let's make it a little specific here, particularly in terms of the shadow work required for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign watching this video. Receiving this reading. What is a perfect healing mantra for them to help them with this shadow work? Athlete in the Eighth, Queen of Cups on the Inner, Empress on the outer, this their full moon, creativity and good fortune is fifth house dynamic. I get it. To the new moon in Pisces, embodying my soul. I have a right to be excited. Oh my God. <laughs> well, well, does exciting, does it getting excited about something? Oh, I grew up with this. Well, don't get too excited. <laughs> don't get too excited. Don't get too excited because the other shoe is going to drop eventually. <laughs> Generation X much? Baby boomer influence much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. 
you have a right to be excited. Now, how you express that is up to you, but wouldn't that certainly take an athletic effort, an athletic power to get excited while surrendering the outcome? Well, because if you're just going for the medal, M-E-D-A-L, and not enjoying yourself, right? What if you just did it to enjoy yourself? Savvy, you jump up in that... There's a water bowl right there. Excuse me, I snapped into mama mode. Savvy was about to jump up in the sink. No. <laughs> Mother of cats. Cat mom. Cats can't say da da. Mine say mama. So we run with it, right? Let me read this from the bookie book. The first of three bookie book reads. <laughs> Motherhood. It never ends. Uh, embodying my soul, Matt Kahn Healing Mantra Deck. I have a right to be excited. Thank you very much. I have a right to be excited. Oh, but with that entitlement, be careful. But this, this, this is the tea. When your soul is embodied, you are grateful to be alive. You are aware of life as a precious opportunity to experience the frequency of your own light, Leo, through the unique attributes, characteristics, and senses of a person. In other words, the soul is the creative force, is the divine light, the individualized unit of consciousness called the soul that is holographically containing the whole of all that is within it, right? Through a human body. This is great. This is really, really powerful for you. I'll even say for us. I'll, I'll claim this one. Um, as your soul becomes embodied, meaning in the physical, like the soul strength it takes for athletes, ballet dancers, no shit. What they go through, they gotta, they either gotta love what they're doing or they're doing it for the money. Um, bunheads. Uh, uh, as you, uh, as your soul becomes embodied, you are elated to be a part of life's cosmic play, no matter how bad things seem. And you gotta admit, that's really leonine courage. That's really badass. That's knowing, hey, it's in my first time on planet Earth. Maybe it's not my last time, so let's play this game, right? Hurdles, strategies, creativity. You know, as much as the, the plan, the, the, the coach might give you the plan, the play, you still got to be in the present moment and play the game, right? Because you never know what the opponent's going to do, even in chess, which I guess is athletic and mentally athletic, right? Uh, this mantra is ideal for developing courage. Come on, Leos. Finding your inner voice. Uh, I've got Katy Perry roar in my head now, uh, and I'm okay with it. And feeling safe in your body. I have a right to be excited. I may not tell everyone. <laughs> I may not. I may. I may. I might journal it. I might uh, bring it into physical form, but let us not forget that the language of creativity and the language of pregnancy are so similar. Conception, gestation, labor, birth. Conceive an idea, you gestate the idea. <laughs> you labor, you bring it into form, and then you give it birth. Let's keep going. Uh, the Whispers of Love Oracle uh, is the voices of the higher selves of all involved. Now, one would think there are other people involved, and if so, their higher selves are in on this too. But primarily, this is from your higher self. Please take a nice deep breath. Let's see how the party doth be turned. Choose <laughs> the party turner deck, but it turns the party. Uncross your legs, Mark. Breathe. <laughs> Probably helping my posture. I've been going through some lower back stuff. I'm 53. Yeah, no, I don't look at thanks. Breathe. It's a fun read. But let's see. No womp womps yet. No whammies. <laughs> so I call upon the higher selves of all involved. Fifth dimension and above. Eighth chakra and above. What is the Whisper of Love Oracle for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading? None of this is particularly specific for a general read, so maybe this will do. Make this as specific as possible for the Leos and or Gross watchers watching uh, this video receiving this reading to help them understand, right, the grace of understanding solar plexus, right, with this athlete archetype in the eighth, Cancer on the inner, Cancerian 
uh, fourth house, home, the creative water, cardinal water, works with that creative archetype, with the empress on the outer, who is creativity herself, embodying their soul. They have a right to be excited. Leave it in my hand. What's the piece of information, inspiration, insight? Most needed for the Leos. This full to new. Spend some quality time together. This is about you and at least one other person. Spend some quality time together. It is important that we spend time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. Why do I feel like, depending on who you are and who you believe this to be, that could certainly be an athletic thing? Oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Package delivery, package delivery. I've got the door. Well, it's, it's like in the 50s here. Temperature-wise, of course, I have the, the, the doors and the windows uh, open. Yay. So, spend some quality time together. Now, again, there's another way of taking that. If there's nobody else involved here, this could totally be, you know, more of a spiritual thing. But honestly, with that speaking, talking, and listening to each other, uh, if this is an athletic thing that you have to do, we really got to develop that willpower, that strength of spirit to do it. I get that. That could certainly be a, a shadow thing to have a confrontational thing, maybe. But it's quality time, and you have the right to be excited about this. So there's definitely at least one other person here. It certainly could be more. This could be talking about work, at work, right? It could be all sorts of different ways. But just keep an eye on the athlete. Now remember, the, any archetype you can have for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, but you can also be learning the lesson of this soul power for somebody who's being in the shadow or the light in your energy field. Spending quality time with them uh, will strengthen that within you, but, that, but they, can't, they can do it with you, but they can't do it for you. So let's get some uh, spirit animal totem. Totem? -um? totem vibe on the table here. Uh, the Divine Animals Oracle, our second bookie book read here. Uh, because if you're going to do the shadow work, you might as well have the Animal Kingdom support because they, they're there anyway. Crossing my legs. Breathe. as I call upon the spirit animals and totems. For the Leo Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, I get it. I get it. I get it. I love you guys. Please, one card in clarity for them who walks with them, who swims with them, who flies with them, who walks with them on this path. Uh, doing the shadow work, athlete in the eighth chakra, cancer on the inner, empress on the outer, embodying the soul. They have a right to be excited about spending some quality time with somebody, speaking to, listening to, sharing in some way. What's the divine animal's message from Stacy DeMarco's deck for them this their full moon to new moon? Butterfly. It's had a Mariah Carey moment. It'll pass. Card number 28, keyword, the soul. Psyche, Greek, means soul. Also means butterfly. <laughs> also means butterfly. I didn't make that up. I'm calling this out. This is a double whammy. I'm calling it a double whammy for sure. And pretty, pretty, pretty butterfly card. <laughs> Raised by a nursery school teacher. Do not expect me to not come out with the child like, particularly if it's pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> Watch out for the liquid eyeliner, though. Uh, here we go. I've been dropping John Waters uh, on Tondras all for weeks, it seems. Breathe. Uh, card number 28. Butterfly, the mighty monarch. Uh, to experience our full selves, we often go through a difficult period of transformation and growth. Duh. Yeah, this is a shadow read. Trust what you feel. Mother of Cups uh, on the inner. Uh, we all have stages to pass through in life, and not all are easy. Look ahead to where you wish to be, not where you have been. Self-trust and the trust of your partner are necessary for a positive relationship. Well, that's interesting. 
the word partner put in there with the idea of the soul and you're going through the butterfly process, egg, caterpillar, cocoon, uh, butterfly. I teach human, hero, immortal God. It's the same symbolic archetypal journey, the hero's journey, the human journey. You're in a human body on a hero's journey, an immortal soul that's a divine being human hero and world god, right? So this is big news, and you have a right to be excited about that. I mean, you're not usually excited about something horrific, uh, unless you are. <laughs> Maybe just somebody else. <laughs> we aren't Leos. Uh, let me read you the magic, which is a big chonka chonk part of the page here. Uh, butterfly magic is key to growth and transformation of the soul. Going through trauma or difficulty helps reveal our true self and to grow into the full magnificence of the soul itself. Ease doesn't always mean growth. Ease doesn't always mean growth. And remember, you don't have a soul. You are a soul. And there's really only one soul. Oversoul 7, Seth Roberts. Uh, Seth Roberts? No. <laughs> Jane Roberts. Channeling Seth. Well, I could see why I, could, I glommed those words together. Yeah, the something of Oversoul 7. I read that book in the 80s on the T in Boston. There's lots of T in it. When you need help moving from one life stage to another, then butterfly magic can be useful, although patience is often needed to embody change fully. And we're so good at that, aren't we, Leos? When you require a dose of beauty, hope, and lightness of spirit, and a reminder to live your life to the full, then butterfly energy can be just that thing. Look, there's obviously somebody else involved in this. With this, spend some quality time together. And I don't feel like that's a counselor or a therapist. I mean, if, hey, I, betterhelp.com, I recommend it to anybody. I don't use it, but I know people who have, and it's helping them, right? Um, but I have my talent bank of people that I turn to, my confessors, my helpers, my spiritual directors, though I do a lot of it through prayer. Um, this is definitely bigger than just you getting what you want. You are getting what you need, and the shadow work is there, and to be creative with it. Yes, there are plenty of times I want to burn down the village, so to speak, and candle wax leaves no paper trail. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, I am a witch. I'm very, very well trained. A witch has to know how to hex to know how to heal. It's just how it is. It's the same dynamic, just lead or gold, right? Shadow or light. So to feel what you're feeling, but then to be able to spend quality time that you're excited about, I just don't know. Because eh, it's a general read. And we only have one card left here. Uh, but hopefully this will illuminate, and absolutely it has before, the mystical blessing, uh, mystical Celtic blessing cards to enrich and empower called Blessed Be by Lucy Cavendish. The hidden blessing, in other words, in, within the lead there is gold, it's hidden. You have to burn off the three extra atoms, periodic table, uh, from lead to alchemize it into gold. Now, if that could be done literally, this world would no longer care about the gold standard. It would probably be about the lead standard? I don't know. Someone's got to do that, though. But the symbolic alchemy here is on the table, and you play a creative role in it, but an emotional one. Let's see what the hidden blessing is. You know what I just did. Please take a nice deep breath. I'm the fun one. What do you want? You're not everybody's cup of truth. <laughs> everybody's cup of tea. Breathe. As I call to the pantheon of all pantheons, all lineages, cultures, traditions throughout time and space, please, what is the hidden blessing for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading so that they can have a little inspiration, a little guidance, a little light pulling them forward, that there is light at the end of this tunnel. There is gold hidden in them, that in them their leads, because they are alchemizing the athlete archetype, discovering and embracing their dedication to transcending physical limits, uh, including handicaps, that could be financial, it could be any kind of physical handicap. Uh, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit, which is developed through training and practice, it just is, and living life. With this Cancerian energy on the inner, Namu, the mother of cups, the queen of cups, fourth house, the emotional home, not the external house, the internal home, but creative. 
definitely creative, with the Empress on the outer, which speaks highly of creativity. It's the Divine Feminine card, right? The Emperor, the Divine Masculine. This is Demeter, the feeding mother, the topsoil, the fertility, the creativity. It really is such a lineup there. Athlete creative archetype, Cancer creative water, Empress, the creativity and the fertility of the Empress. So of course they have a right to be excited embodying their soul, but they need to spend some quality time together with somebody, maybe with their own creativity. Uh, uh, c talking and listening and, and, and really making that quality time and maybe that's talking with their own soul with the butterfly to be pregnant with the creativity of your own soul from the human perspective can be a little terrifying but from the soul's perspective it's how everything goes so what's the hidden blessing for the beloved Leos this their full moon to new moon February March 2022 I have blessed on your health. Ah, Shlanti Itanta. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Card number nine, a blessing on your health. <laughs> the dragon behind her and a cup of something yummy in her hand. Oh, I'm digging it. Let's see. Uh, the hidden blessing here is a blessing on your health. And not extraordinarily long, but... We do the blessings for real here on Drawing the Circle Productions uh, YouTube channel, and you should see what I'm doing every morning on Patreon. Every morning I stream with the astrological lunar weather. Breathe. A blessing on your health, card number nine. Say it through me, my pantheons. A blessing to inspire the blossoming of great good health within your life. May you, friend, be blessed with a rising of your own personal vitality. May life force flow into every cell of your body, inhabiting each fully with the desire for life and the yearning for the full feeling of all that is here for you to experience. May the cells in the blood sing their song with joy at being here. And may your bones be strong and whole, densely knitted in the joints to keep you upright, ever moving into the next step. A dance of love for the feeling of the world. May the muscles take shape and move with your form. And may there be flexibility and the great gift of movement for you. May your organs do their holy work and may your and may the health of the mind curious yet peaceful awakened yet rested be yours may the energy that belongs to the hail eternally be yours and may your every footstep bring a little more vitality a little more joy and movement a little more of a blessing to simply be here and in such good health. May you know peace within the temple of the body and may a revival of energy be yours like that of the spring after winter. So you have a spirit shining with good health, the energy about all you radiate, an auric field filled with wellness, a field of energy you can drink from and renew yourself each day and night of this lifetime. May the blessings of good health and joy in your body be yours, and should it be challenged, may you rise and meet that challenge with courage and security in the wisdom of your blood and bones, flesh and energy field, and may all that brings you back to wellness come to you again and again and again. For the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. So motivated. 
so it is. I could totally see this about someone dealing with physical handicaps and health now. That makes sense. But that could be health in all sorts of different ways and forms. And why shouldn't it be? Eighth chakra are going to take an athletic strength of, sp of power to do that. But there is an emotional counterpart in here and creative. Your emotions are biochemical and they affect every cell in your body. Don't forget that. But you are the empress. You may very well be sitting pretty with everything that you need, but you may not know it. And you do have a right to be excited about this because your soul is embodying. And, uh, you know, spending quality time with your body, with another, with a healer, as a healer. General Reed, please comment what that's about if you can, because the butterfly is with you. There's a transformation in place and it is soul motivated. You have a right to be excited and embody that soul. What? Because there is a hidden blessing of the healing of your body, of your mind, of your emotions, of your spirit. And that every step you take along the path is bringing you there can be delayed but not prevented so don't delay it so if you like the reading hit the thumbs up help the other leos heal on the planet that's what happens when you hit the thumbs up other people get to see it it's just how it works you want more of me here on youtube subscribe and hit that notification bell because i'm putting these out when they are done these are my creative children i'm birthing and sending out to the world took myself off that treadmill why because now i'm a creator on patreon patreon backslash drawing the circle.com good stuff there every day posting something and uh the tiers for the subscribers are pretty jam-packed so check it out Otherwise, seriously, wishing you all the very best and the very blessed, my beloved Leonines, my fifth housers, this hour full moon to new moon uh, in Pisces, Je February into March 2022. I love you. Keep it real. Keep it roar. Hell. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.